Aussie Formula One star Daniel Ricciardo has declared he wants to do another shoey, despite McLaren removing him from his race seat in 2023. And it's that positive attitude that has Optus sticking by the 33-year-old, extending his role as the company's chief of optimism. But while that has him looking up, he had Sunrise correspondent Matt Tinney looking a long way down as they hung out in Ricardo's hometown of Perth for this exclusive interview. For speedster Daniel Ricciardo, right now, everything is up in the air. Fear can make simple tasks not so simple. I feel like I forgot how to walk. The Formula One driver is back on home soil after being dropped from his racing team, McLaren, due to poor performances. A lot of things need to gel and work right. And obviously, clearly for me with this car, you know, it's, it's been hard. He could be replaced by fellow Aussie, 21-year-old Oscar Piastri. None of this is personal now. Like, we are all on our own personal journey and our personal quest um, to be the best. It's not the way I wanted it to, to end, but it's not through a lack of effort. And we've certainly tried to make it work. And um, sometimes, yeah, you just gotta suck it up and move on. and see what's next. What's next is unclear, but there's one goal on Ricardo's horizon. I still want to be a Formula One driver, like I still want to compete. There is 1% of people that I would like to prove wrong. Maybe that means a year uh, away from a race seat, but that year is not forever. Um, it's just trying to then set me up. If all else fails, I do back myself. As the newly extended Optus Chief of Optimism, Ricardo's job is to look on the bright side. Success is so much sweeter after some struggle. And perform the occasional stunt. How are you feeling, Dan? Um, I feel you're operating at a higher level of confidence than me. 42 metres up in the air at Optus Stadium, neither of us are keen to release the brakes. Can you go first? <laughs> My heart may be racing, but surely this is second nature to the man nicknamed the Honey Badger for his drive to win. Every time I, I've won, you know, it's I've done over 200 races, I've, I've won eight times, so it's obviously not very frequent, so every time is special, every time means something. Ricardo's podium victories are infamous, thanks to a stunt he first pulled in 2016, and he's thirsty for more. What's that about champagne in the shoe? <laughs> Don't, don't want to be kidding. <laughs> Maybe it's an Aussie tradition, I don't know. Will we see another shoey? That's the plan. Like, I, I definitely don't want Monza 2021 to be the last shoey. 